Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows from what we have a raised to power n minus n. The same thing as a raised to power n over a raised to power n. Now this here, this becomes 9 raised to power x over 9 raised to power 1 equals to 90 on this side. Then here, this same thing as 9 raised to power x over 9 raised to power 1, that's 9. Then equals to, I write this as 90 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply. That is 9 raised to power x times 1, same thing as 9 raised to power x equals to 90 times 9 on this side. The next step here. We take the log on both sides. This here we have log 9 raised to power x equals to log 90 times 9 here. The next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log n raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. But this here, this becomes x log 9 equals to log 90 times 9 here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. Divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9, which implies here log 9 cancelled each other here. And we have x equals to log 90 times 9 over log 9. Then next step here, yeah, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. This, all we have here becomes x equals to log 90 plus log 9 over log 9. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 90 over log 9 plus log 9 over log 9, which implies here, log 9 cancelled each other, we have one left, that this x equals to log 90 over log 9 plus 1. Then, also here, we can write 90 as 9 times 10. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 9 times 10 over log 9 plus 1. Then this also follows the law of logarithm. And we have x equals to log 9 plus log 10 over log 9 plus 1. That is, here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 9 over log 9 plus log 10 over log 9 plus 1. And also here, log 9 cancel each other, we have 1 left, which implies x equals to 1 plus 1 plus log 10 over log 9. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to 1 plus 1, that's 2, and plus log 10 over log 9. Then, next step here, also 10 can be written as 2 times 5. But this here we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 times 5 over log 9. 
then this also follows the law of log n. And we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 9. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. That is, from here, we can also rewrite 9 as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared. What we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 2 over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared. Then here we apply the power of log 2 comes here and also here. And we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3. That is, we can as well write this as x equals to 2 plus 1 over 2 times log 2 over log 3 plus also 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3. Then, next step here, we apply change of base A from when we have log A over log B. This is the same thing as log A to base B. That is, here we have x equals to 2 plus 1 over 2 log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 3. Then we bring this together as one fraction, this 2 over 1, and we have x equals to the same way as 2. And here we have 4, then plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. That is the value of x here we have 4 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. This, what we have here, becomes 9 raised to the power 4 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 then minus 1 here is it equals to 90 on this side then here we have 1 over 1 we bring this power together as one that is we have 9 raised to the power s m here that's 2 and here we still have 4 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 2 here is it equals to 90 on this side that is here 4 minus 2 that's 2 we have 9 raised to the power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 90 on this side and also here 9 can be expressed as 3 square which is raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 90 on this side that is here this power multiplies 2 here cancel with each other we have 3 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 is it equals to 90 on this side then here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to the power m plus n is same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n as this here we have 3 square times 3 raised to the power log 
2 base 3 times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3 is it equals to 90 on this side that is yeah 3 square 3 times 3 that's 9 then times this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b and here we have 2 n times 5 this is equals to 90 from here that is 2 times 5 10 10 times 9 90 which is equals to 90 on this side left hand side is equal to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget your steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video with your comment see you next time and bye for now